Stampers, this is Cheryl from stardust.stampinup.net and I just want to share with you my cute little project for today. We're going to make a little Frankenstein and there's the front, there's the back and he is covering a little box of nerds. And he just slides in like that. I just think he turned out so cute. So this is how we're going to make him. What we'll need is the uh, curly label punch and just some scrap pieces and what I'm going to use is old olive and then for the nose I'm going to use a small piece of the mossy meadow you can see how dark or you know darker that is so we'll go ahead and punch out let's see two of the old olive there we go and then, before I forget here, we'll go ahead and cut out one of the basic black. There we go. Okay. So, first thing I like to do is go ahead and make his hair. And I just kind of start up above the little notch here. I just kind of cut some little jagged edges here. There we go. And we'll save this because this will actually be the back of his head. So I'll just use a little bit of Tombow glue here. And you can use snail if you like. I just happen to find that I like using the Tombow on this project. Or even glue dots would work. If you don't like messing with the glue. There we go. Oops, I see this one moved a little bit. That's okay. Okay, now I will go ahead and make his eyes and I just use just the regular old paper punch. Whoops, there we go. Get him out there. Put a little dots on there. There's one. And get a hold of it there. Oops. There we go. Okay, and then I'm taking my just my black Stampin' Rate marker. I will just go ahead and color a little bit of the black in here. And you can make it, you know, if you want it curved or however that you want the eye to look, if you, you know, if you want it straight across or with that little bump in there. And then we will take just a dot of the Mossy Meadow, well, did it come out? Did it come out? Okay, I guess we'll stamp another one. Or punch another one. We'll put his little nose there. And then I just go ahead and take my Stampin' Right marker and use the fine tip. Just make a little face. Kind of wiggly smile. A little crooked. <laughs> and there you have it. There's the front and there's the back. Okay, now for the Nerds Candy, what I like to do is, is just um, take a piece of, well this is a piece of crumb cake and I cut it down to four and a quarter by one and five eighths and I tried to figure out the measurements you know to score this but for me it was the easiest thing to do is just simply just wrap it around the box there we go and then if you want after you wrap it off go ahead and you know just crease your your fold marks there 
Here we go. There. Now for this one, I like to use the fast fuse. And we'll just stick it on. There's basically two little, you know, flaps here. And I like to stick it on the one that's a little bit smaller. See how this one's, you know, doesn't go all the way to the edge? But this one will. So I like to go ahead and put it on this one. Whoops. There we go. That way our, our little box, you know, has that cute little sleeve on it. Then we'll just go ahead and stick some more Tombow glue on the back of the face. And then on the back, just do the same. Oops, better make sure, yeah, there we go. Better make sure he's facing the right way. <laughs> there, and that's all there is to it to make this cute, cute, cute little Frankenstein. Now this was the old olive with the uh, mossy meadow. And I kind of played around with the colors a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is the, let's see. This is the mossy meadow with the old olive nose and then this one is the mossy meadow with the garden green nose so they you know you can tell the different colors and everything and and how they look and <laughs> they're just kind of fun it's a fun little variety to have in a nice big bowl of of treats you know for your halloween party so that's what i have to share today if you have any questions let me know Thanks. Bye.